<laughs> All right. Blackheads, we are out here test riding some Harleys. We just got done with the new 107 Street Bob uh, 2018, and now we're actually doing another Street Bob, but this time it's a 2016 Custom AF. So this has basically been customized by Orlando Harley. Uh, you guys can see, like it's got the powder coated wheels, it's got the powder coated little 103 there, uh, custom pegs, custom grips. Um, well, like a custom wrap line here as well which is like a gold like carbon fiber almost flat black did it come like that or is it no. painted flat black the interesting part it's this is actually wrapped as well oh really that's a wrap color, yeah. damn the color is green the original is green yeah wow dude who did the wrap that's that's really good whoever did the wrap did a really good job like i've never seen somebody do a wrap like on the tank like that it's usually a problem area that's impressive Basically a whole new front, technically, as you see. Hey, yeah, you got your what? Custom Dynamics LED switchbacks, your Daymaker, new new bars, new grips, adjustable levers. This is a new seat, right? Or is that, is that the stock seat? That's the stock seat. What's interesting about this bike, check this out. Chain conversion. Oh, yeah, it's got the chain on it. That's pretty... <laughs> it's pretty wild. You got to do a gold chain, man. Of course. This is for more of your advanced type of rider that's, that's not your regular guy who want to go just ride around the block. This is your hooligan bike. Yeah. Um, so it, what's really interesting about this bike as well, it's the front brake system. It's by Performance Machine. It's oh, nice. Cool. And it's a 103. 103 stage one. Very, very custom bike. We are talking about in the low 20s. That's basically the price of that bike. Um, but you're getting yourself something that's it's a torque machine. Yeah. Something that pulling a wheelie, pulling, pulling that stunts that everybody wants to start going to towards. It's yeah, it's it's actually very nicely done just for the color scheme alone, but you know, I like that black and gold look because I mean obviously my lowrider S. Very custom. One off from Orlando Harley. It's pretty cool, man. Well let's get to riding and see what it feels like. These levers are Man, they're really easily adjustable. Very easy. Dude, I might I adjusted them three times when we rode. Yeah. They're not cheap, but they're they're really worth it. I might have to swap mine out. These are nice. <laughs> All right. So man, just being on the uh, so just being on the 18th Street Bob and jumping onto a 16th Street Bob. Very noticeable increase in shake. But me coming from a 17 Lowrider S, I can tell you, I feel more at home with that shake. It does feel more like a Harley, I will say that. Oh man, and it sounds great, like this exhaust that's on it. I don't know what it is, but it sounds really good. Whew, listen to that uh, D-cell. Yes. <laughs> the D-cells, though. The grips feel really small. Not my preference. like it's supposed to sound. <laughs> so 
the brake does need to be adjusted. I will tell you guys that right now. It needs to be dropped a little bit because I feel like I'm reaching way up with my foot. All right, so this is uh, test riding a custom 2016 Street Bob. And it is a very custom Street Bob. So starting where we normally do with the controls, pretty standard for Harley controls on the left side here. You've got your selection, which is going to change your indicator and the little uh, LCD right there. So right now we've got remaining mileage. We've got the time, press it again. We've got the gear indicator slash RPM, which is nice. The brakes are solid. The brakes are very solid. You can definitely feel a difference in the, the six piston front versus like even the four piston on the 2018s. So yeah, gear indicator slash RPMs right now. You've got your current mileage, which on here there is 112 miles. Trip A, trip B, and back to remaining miles. So we're going to put it on the uh, gear indicator slash RPM. So you've got your horn below that. You've got your high beams and your low beam. Basically light selection. Yeah, so you've got your high beams, which indicates right here. You press it back down to go back to low beam. You hold it in or press it to do your uh, passing light. And you've got your left turn indicator. Also shows up there. Uh, over here you've got your on off your kill switch you've got up for your flashers your hazards uh, down is going to be your starter and then your right indicator here you've pretty much got your standard for pre-18 harley gauge setup like i was saying indicators all here you've got your miles per hour uh, and then your lcd right there for all of those things to display which we just went through you've got your fuel gauge on the left side as well now I will say to me, this feels like a Harley. There's a lot of things that have been done to it that, you know, it's like all personal preference on how you want to customize it, but it feels like a Harley. Sounds like a Harley. This is a nice bike, dude. I like it a lot. I go with the brat machine. The brat machine? I like it. Dude, I'm, I'm really surprised this is a wrap, man. That's it's very well done. I was just saying like, to me, like, it feels like a Harley. You know, with the new 18s and the counterbalancers, it's like, you don't, it doesn't have that shake to it, you know? It's like, you get used to that vibration. Which, I mean, on longer trips kind of sucks, but, you know, like, I don't know, for shorter trips. I mean, once you actually get up to speed, though, that shake, it goes away. You know, so like right here, there's, look at that, there's no shake. When the RPMs are higher like this, there's, the shake goes away. If you like look at the mirrors, they're totally still, but if I like drop down, the shake comes back. You know, like here, you can see it a lot. <laughs> Love it. But yeah, that all just boils down to personal preference. You know, like, like I said, my background, I've got a 2017 Lowrider S, which uh, has that 110 in it. So it's got that got that Harley vibration to it and uh, before that I came from a, a bump before that I came from a 2013 iron 883 and then just to throw it in there I've got a Yamaha R6 as well god the exhaust on here sounds just freaking great handles well I like it dude it's crazy how much more these lean over when you put the kickstand down yeah. versus like the 18s like like if you guys can see how much this one is leaning right now you know just put it down front wheel is still straight like it's like leaning like this versus this and it's not near as much all right so overall thoughts on the 2016 you said right street bob custom built by orlando harley here i like it a lot looks good the fact that it's a wrap it's very well done you know they've done all the necessary upgrades there's better brakes 
you know, uh, LEDs in the front, as well as the LED headlight. They've got the switchback uh, custom dynamics. It's got a stage one on it. Uh, what kind of tune do you guys have on it? The Vans and Hines? Uh, FP3. FP3? Yeah. And then um, these, uh, the brake does feel a little high up, so I don't know if it's you're able to adjust that or bring the peg up a little bit. The suspension feels really nice and it sounds great. I like, I feel really bad coming from riding the 18 Street Bob to the 16 Street Bob and saying what everybody's saying right now is that this <laughs> one feels like a Harley. But it does, man. That that Harley vibration, you know. But I mean, people are going to get used to the new Milwaukee Eights and uh, the little bit of vibration they have. Twenty years, we're going to be like back in my day. They used to vibrate way more. <laughs> of the two, I like I like the transmissions. I don't know what they've done differently in the new transmissions, but the whenever you shift, it feels much more prominent, like much more positive. The, there's a very solid like click when you upshift on the new ones and a very solid click when you downshift on the new ones And it's not like that for this one this one like I would pull up and it, like I would let the clutch go and I'm like I really hope I pulled up hard enough, you know, because it didn't have that click Like on my low rider s it does have like a little bit of that click more than this, but this one it's it's kind of it's not mushy but Like this it's you know you shifted because it's it's you're pushing through that wall. You can hear it. You can feel it so of the two, transmission, definitely prefer the, the new 18s. I mean, they, the new 18s are a solid bike. They ride really, the really thing. well. We just, again, we're just used to those kind of yeah. bikes. So for us, change. I think, I think if they took, they could keep everything that's on the 18s, you know, like the fact that the engine is stronger, it runs cooler. Um, you've got the oil liquid cooled heads or liquid cooled, liquid oil cooled heads, however the hell you want to say it. <laughs> the little USB thing, like I would totally use that. Yeah. You could keep all that, but then tame the counterbalancer a little bit and have the shake from this one over to this one. But again, personal preference. And I'm sure it's gonna sound great once an exhaust goes on it. I'm probably a little more drawn to this one too because of the exhaust, just because it sounds, exactly, exactly. sounds so great. When you're talking about putting a stage one kit on this thing, yeah, man, it's gonna be different. Yeah, it's gonna be a beast. Personally, to take this bike, put exactly the same exhaust system, put the same exact gully air intake. Yeah. And they do have new bronze collection uh, parts so putting a lot of bronze uh, collection stuff on this bike just seeing surprised you guys haven't customized out an 18 yet it's our first one all right well overall thoughts i like it it's a fun ride very custom stuff if you guys are interested in it be sure to hit up my boy eric here at orlando harley like i said if you guys have any questions post them up in the comments below if i can't answer them we'll hit up eric here or uh, aaron as well hit me up on my instagram if you have any questions if you don't don't feel like you're coming all the way here or even if you want to do a, you know maybe work something out if you're out of state 40 percent of our business we do we do go from state to state yeah we can shift we can do all what's your uh what's your instagram um it's yarik t66 okay cool so i'll post that up on the screen right here and i'll post a link as well down in the description below so if you guys want to get a hold of eric or yarik can i post them up here like here you'll have to post them. <laughs> we can post them right there <laughs> <laughs> anyways hope you guys enjoyed the video if you did be sure to hit the like button if you guys aren't subscribed already be sure to hit the subscribe button as well and until next time you guys ride safe out there stay vigilant and i'll catch y'all later deuces